ओके लेट्स लुक एट क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टीन पार्ट बी फ्रेम वर्क राइट सो अ फ्रेम वर्क इज गिवन टू अस दैट इज इन दिस डायग्राम एंड सम लेंथ्स आर गिवन ए बी एंड ए डी आर टू ए बी सी एंड बी डी आर टू रूट थ्री ए सी बी डी इज नाइंटी डिग्रीज लोड ऑफ डब्ल्यू इज सस्पेंडेड फ्रॉम सी smoothly hinged at a and kept in equilibrium in a vertical plane with bc horizontal by force of magnitude of p applied vertically upwards to it at the joint d <coughs> right draw a stress diagram using bohs notation for the joints c b d <coughs> Hence, find the stresses in the rods, stating whether they are tensions or thrusts. Right. Let me <coughs> draw the diagram. Both of them are A B and A D are two A length. So these are equal length, <coughs> two A. And then. B D and B C are also equal. <coughs> They are two root three a. So these two are equal also. A, sorry, that is B. A, B, C, D. <coughs> right. Then this is ninety degrees, and we have. A force here, P, and a force of weight here, a load, so W here. Right, hinge that A. Right. Okay. So then, A B, B C C D, B D. And it right so so because a b c d is a uh, isosceles triangle no isosceles right angle triangle so these are forty five degrees then okay so these angles are forty five and a b d is also isosceles so then we know this is two root three a then let me draw this perpendicular line. <clears throat> then this bisects the bd line so this this length would be root 3 a so then root 3 2 a so this is going to be a no that length is going to be a <clears throat> from the pythagoras theorem so then this angle is what 30 degrees no why Uh, cos sorry tan that triangle let's say theta tan theta is what a over root three a which is one over root three which means theta is thirty right so that triangle is thirty <coughs> right we found that <coughs> okay now what I want is to find p first this unknown force let me take moments about a moments about a This is in equilibrium, no? so in moments about any point is zero. So I will take moments about a, then p into this length. We found this length is a. P into a will be equal to what? W into because that is going anti-clockwise, no? So sorry, that is going clockwise. So that is minus. So so. I will move it to the other side. So W. What is the length from A? This length A plus this two root three A. Right. So then P is what? A is cancel out. So one plus two root three W. One plus two root three W. Right now we have P also, right? Then at A 
there might be a reaction <coughs> oh no maybe yes there should be a reaction it's smoothly hinged no so that we don't need to know that reaction because we are not going to look at that joint no and and no that's not a joint you see yeah it that's also a joint but we are not look, going to look at that one right so i will just label that in some like the direction in like that and now let's label these sections let me label this as section a that is from this force to w then w to p i will label as b uh, and from p to this force i will label as c then let me erase this one i don't need this so then this one is d and this one is e right everything is labeled now now let's follow what they want we they want us to start from joint c joint c right so let me mark what is p we found p no yeah p is 1 plus 2 root 3 w right okay now <laughs> let's go to joint c we want to start from joint c so start with the force you already know w so a to b represents w so let me draw that a to b a to b a to b is w right then that one is done then b to e is 45 degrees to the vertical or to the horizontal so it can go in both directions which direction is correct then b so b b c or e to a is what b c rod is horizontal so i can't have b e in this direction so it should be clear that this one b to e is in this direction let, let me draw a bigger triangle then that is a sorry this is a to b a to b goes down then b to e like that then let's complete the triangle that is going to be horizontal e to a right so that rod is that joint is done now let's find the length so we know a a b is w this angle is 45 this is 90 mean this is also 45 so this is again isosceles so then e a has to be w e a has to be w then you can use Pythagoras theorem to find B E. What is B E? W squared plus W squared, whole thing square root. So uh, root 2 W. So everything is found. So now let me create the table. The rod size tension no thrust tension no thrust right so we have three rods here no no two rods cd rod and bc rod right so let's first look at cd rod CD rod is represented by BE. B to E. So that is going away from joint C. B to E. Away no? B to E in this direction. So that is going away. That means tension. So that means tension. 
So, and the size C is root 2 W. So, let me fill that. This is tension root 2 W. Then, let's look at BC rod. BC rod is represented by E to A. E to A. E to A is going in this direction. So, towards the joint. Towards the joint means thrust. The arrow is pointing towards the joint. No? So, thrust. And that is W. So, BC is thrust. BC is thrust. Size W. <laughs> So joint C is done, then they say go to joint B. So follow the pattern given in the question, okay? Then it is easy. C, then B, then go to D. So let's go to B. So this joint, already we have one drawn. A to E, we have drawn. So we'll go to E to D. E to D is what? A to E is correct. Then E to D, you just need to go vertically. How many? 2 root 3 A. Uh, sorry, no, not 2 root 3 A. No, that is length. No, sorry. Let me erase this length. Why? Oh, I'm going to get confused. So it's just a vertical line. Then this angle is 30. Then I have to draw D to A. E to D. D to A is angle 30 with the vertical. Angle 30 with the vertical. That means angle 60 with the horizontal. So like this. So 90. This is 60 degrees. <laughs> right. So and so we have drawn joint B everything. E to A, sorry A to E went, then E to D, then D to A. Right. So let's find this length. What is E D? What is D A? Right. So we have what I can do what cos 60 cos 60 is what da over ae so da is what uh, ae cos 60 right is it no wait is this correct I uh, know the other way, no. I A E over D A adjacent over hypotenuse that is cos 60 A E adjacent over D A and we want to find D A so D A cos 60 means D A half D A into half equals to A E which is W. So then DA or AD is equal to 2W. So this length is 2W. Right. So that is 2W. Then ED is what? 2W sine 60. 2W sine 60 means root 3W. So ED is root 3W. Right. So that is also done there. The lengths are found. So then we'll do check the tensions and thrust. So we'll first go from E to D. E to D goes away from the joint. Look, E to D. So away from the joint means tension. Then go D to A. D to A, D to A go, comes towards the joint. So that is thrust. So that is done. So let's do BD rod. What is BD rod? BD rod. 
BD is ED. So root 3W tension. Then AB rod. AB rod is DA which is 2W thrust. Right. So now let's do the last joint. Right. So the last joint is D. So two of them are already drawn, right? D E. Wait. You are doing joint D. So D E and E B are already drawn. D to E done. E to B done. Then I have to draw B to C, which is P force. So that is what? 1 plus 2 root 3 W. So then it has to be more than B A. No? one go goes this is one w then two root three w this is root three w then another root three w so this is where c ends so this a to c length would be two root three w then because b to c is w plus two root three w no so that is c then you just need to connect C and D. No? The last one is that. Okay, and we want to find CD. CD represents AD rod. So that's the final rod we need to find. So then this is root 3W means. Right, so this is going to be W length. This 2W is the, this one, this one. This length is W. This, this length is W. And AC is 2 root 3 W. And this is root 3 W. Because this is root 3 W. No? Total length is 2 root 3 W. So then I can find CD length using what the hypot uh, the Pythagoras theorem. So hypotenuse. No? So so we'll do W squared plus three W squared. So two W. That is also going to be two W. So then let's write C this one AD is two W AD is two W what is the what is it tension no thrust it's going from C to D C to D is moving away from the joint C to D no? away so tension tension right so right so this is what you want to find all the rods are there sizes are there whether it's tension or thrust is there so this is the answer for the framework question